What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tech Raj back for the fifth installment of our Ultimate Team series. And if you've been following the series, you know what time it is. Time to play the last game, the final game. It's the Super Bowl. As you can see, if we win this, we get 3,000 coins and we also get one pack. Welcome to the Super Bowl, where we are just moments away from a matchup between the Washington... So we haven't lost a game since our second game against that beast of a team. And as you can see, we stop him on third down. He tries the screen. We're not going to allow that to happen. We're the only ones that are going to be doing screens here. I get the ball second and three. I'm trying to show them how the screen game works. And you can see Reggie Bush there calling out a block. Almost get tackled and stumbles into the end zone for the opening touchdown in the Super Bowl. So, uh, we've talked about it in previous episodes that I like to call a lot of man coverage. And if you're wondering how to beat that in Madden, it's by having this four wide receiver formation close. And even if you're not running this, running those post routes, as you can see that he's running, is one of the best way or flag routes to kind of combat that. So he gets into the red zone here, tries to run, it doesn't work. I switched it up to a cover two to try to combat that, and he threw it up the middle on me. So next drive, Colin Kaepernick with the read option. And you know we're gonna try that early. Once again, we go here to the read option and he gets nailed and he's injured. So RG3 is in. He doesn't have the arm strength or the decision making. And he throws the interception here. I'm going to blame the sunbeam in my eyes. I'm going to blame hip hop. I'm going to blame the recession. Whatever it is, but clearly that wasn't my fault. So on the other side, he throws it there to Larry Fitzgerald. And Antoine Bethe with an injury, but he would return to the game. So we stop this pass up the middle on third down, and he's going to have to settle for a field goal right before halftime. So up to this point, he's been playing me pretty well. He's been calling the cover six zone out of his nickel, nickel offense, which, especially with this particular RG3 card, which is not the regular one, he doesn't quite have the arm strength for me to exploit it. I could have but I still was playing a conservative game up to this point. Throw it deep on what is a dangerous pass, but that should have been a pass interference. I tried to hit it deep so I could probably get into field goal range. So as I saw time was winding down, I didn't want to give him the ball back, so I kept it on the ground, threw some short passes underneath toward what he was giving me, eight seconds left up to this point. I really wanted to get into field goal range. We had Blair Walsh, but the downside is as I try the 60 yard field goal here is that I'm kicking into the wind as you can see. Maybe if I had Tom Dempsey with the half foot on the 63 yard field goal try, he would have made that. But that falls short. And since he got the ball at halftime, I won the toss, elected to defer to him. I get the ball. So DeMarco Murray, here returning the kickoff we get to about the 22 yard line I give it up the middle to Reggie Bush get about eight yards there and then as we give it to RG3 I noticed he was bringing the defensive end in and not playing contained so I called the read option one more time off a great block RG3 says you know what I don't have the arm strength but I'm gonna show Colin Kaepernick how it's done in the Super Bowl to go up 14-10 third quarter second and inches throws the screen here to Chris Johnson and he gets a great gain a lot of people are going with that Chris Johnson card because he has 97 overall speed up the middle he throws it to Larry Fitzgerald and I did no editing on this drive so I can show you what he was doing all game with the no huddle offense what that did for him is that it did tire out my players but he didn't take advantage of the clock. No clock management, not taking advantage of the accelerated clock. So he continued here, threw it there on 
the uh, out route, or not really an out route, but more of a corner route, uh, you know, just taking advantage of the man coverage. So I was going to start switching it up here and there, throwing in some cover twos, but I think a common theme of this game for me, like here, I try to go for the pick way too early, and as you can see, it threw him off of his pursuit of the ball, and he gets that completed, but he did have nice touch on that pass. Once again, corner route, to this time to tape on Austin, who in real life had a big game yesterday. And he's also a great card here. I might pick him up, but I think uh, with how I've been playing lately, I don't really need that great of a receiver. This touchdown really killed me because I should have been able to user pick that, but he goes up 17-14. So the thought process here is the third quarter is about to wind down. I'm gonna pound the rock on the ground. Uh, and, and try to run the clock down as much as I can and at least salvage a field goal tie it up So first play of the fourth quarter second and seven we give it to Reggie Bush who gets the first down uh, But it stops short. So I try the read option He reads it nicely with a keep to leave and forces me to a fourth down where I go for it I'm not giving him the ball up here. Haven't like how my defense is playing second and eight We give it to Reggie Bush up the middle gets a nice gain and brings us down to the two minute warning. So as you can see, that's why I rarely call no huddle offenses. I want to take advantage of the ground game. And here, nasty fall for Reggie Bush, hurts his shoulder and he's out of the game. So now I have Colin Kaepernick out and I have uh, Reggie Bush out there. So third and two, I'm winding down the clock. If you look up there, 24 seconds on the play clock. I did this purposely, came up to the line because I'm waiting for him to call timeout. So as you can see, I brought it down to two seconds. And we get it to Malcolm Floyd for the first down. And now he's getting nervous. He's using his timeouts, which is what we wanted. First and 10. We give it to DeMarco Murray, who gets stopped. He's going to quickly call timeout. Now he's only down to one timeout. Second and seven. I thought I was gonna get a good scramble from RG3, but the shoestring tackle from his defensive end stops us. Third and 11. That should have been intercepted. The game could have been over there. Instead, we go for the field goal to tie it up. Could we have a first ever Super Bowl going into overtime? That's never happened before. I kick it off only 13 seconds left. He's returning it here with Devin Hester. Jukes out. That's a block in the back, but it wasn't called. But fortunately, we get him for the stop. So right here, last play, seven seconds left. He's not going to make a touchdown here. So we're just going to shut this down or allow him to complete something underneath. And then we're going to take it to overtime. Throws it out and... What? Horrible throw. I'm saying get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. One second left. 53-yard field goal. Let's watch. What a new move on his part. Bringing the Super Bowl back to DC. What a turn of events. I was fully ready to go into overtime, but he decided he was gonna be greedy and for some reason try to complete a pass to the sideline that wasn't gonna help him. So as you can see here, our players are celebrating. Our win streak continues. Now it's at 10 games. We haven't lost since week two. What a great thing. And there you can see the confetti flying down. RG3 is excited because he gets in due to the Colin Kaepernick injury. As time winds down, the field goal, and they're devastated. They should have had the pick at the end there. Play of the game, rightfully so, was RG3's long run. Look how beautiful that was. Long touchdown to bring us up at that point. They would come back and score, but still wasn't enough. Geno Smith, who we had starting at quarterback, is devastated. And this always makes me laugh. Look at Emmett Smith there with the Hall of Fame coat that looks way too big on him. He's short as it is, so he looks like a nerd or like one of those little kids 
that gets dressed up for church. He's so small that, look, everybody's kind of throwing him around like a rag doll, but he's going to deliver that Vince Lombardi trophy to us. Brandon Boykin, who had the interception late to seal the game, uh, is the winner there. And then you see RG3 and Demarius Thomas there. Why? Who knows? Demarius Thomas didn't have a single catch. He didn't even get the, you know, the, the pass interference call that we wanted there. And I always laugh at the coach still with the headset on celebrating. Come on, this is next gen EA. What are you doing there? But you know, I mean, exciting thing in our first season, uh, you know, you're playing against subpar competition. Our opponent here, though, was pretty good, even though he made a boneheaded move at the end. As you can see, we get the 3,000 coins and the pack. And the pack that we get is this Thanksgiving Classic Seasons pack. And it's a number of things. You have the option, I think, of getting a player, I believe. I may be wrong on that. But it's a lot of collectible uh, that you can get. So, hey, thank you so much. Subscribe. You guys have been doing great on that. Follow us on Twitter. See you next time.